if you hear banging, it's like building work and stuff. But yeah, I'm literally just topping up my makeup and I just undid my hair from plaits. And that's giving me like another identity crisis because I really want curly hair, like really desperately. Whenever I take it down from plaits and it's like nice long curls, oh, it makes me so desperate for them. Oh. It's, I don't know why I do it to myself, it's clearly just punishment. I I feel like I've been slacking a bit on the reading. I just haven't really been in the mood to read lately. So I, yeah, I feel like I need to change that. Um, I've been reading, what have I been reading? How have I already forgotten? Um, um, I've been reading oh, On Earth We're Briefly Gorgeous by Ocean Vuong probably messed up that name um but i've been reading that i'm on i think i'm about on page 100 and it's good um and the story is interesting it's very heartbreaking but i think i don't think it's a fault of the writing i think it's more that it's not normally something that i read so it's not exactly my type of thing because i have i have a feeling it's kind of autobiographical because it's basically a book that's a letter that um, a son is writing to his mother but his mother's illiterate um, in English and it's like talking about their life and um, she's an immigrant from Vietnam and they he's talking through his life and kind of addressing the things that like where she went wrong um, and like things that he remembers that like shouldn't have happened really but in the dedication it's he wrote dedicated to his mother so I have a feeling that it's actually like either autobiographical or semi-autobiographical um because I mean it it feels too intense for someone to write it without it like write that about this book without it being you know like kind of based on fact um because obviously there are moments where he talks about like how he loves his mother as well but it's a very strained relationship um so i think it's kind of been hard to read at some points and sometimes the writing just seems a bit like a bit overdone especially for something so real and raw i don't know if that makes any sense but that's how it feels to me i want to read i read the first book in the curse of the gods series by jamin eve and jane washington and that was really entertaining like the writing's a bit annoying because it's quite repetitive and like there are several things that are just like i don't really give a shit <laughs> like the first 120 pages i just um yeah i just didn't care <laughs> um but the romance is interesting it's a reverse harem book uh, which I've been intrigued by because I've seen a lot of people talking about them so I wanted to give it a whirl there wasn't much sex though like in the first book I mean I know it's only the first book and apparently it is an adult book but like there was barely any contact but not just that there was because obviously I get like slow burn that's great I love that but there wasn't any contact or like writing to imply like dirtiness you know and I was like that's why I'm here so if I'm not gonna get what I'm looking for so I want to read the second book but yeah it's definitely entertaining and the characters are fun I've seen a lot of reviews saying that people found um Willa the main character annoying I personally don't really mind her she's I find her quite funny quite like easygoing easy to follow um, the brothers sometimes there are a bit so there are five brothers that she meets and it's basically that she's like a dweller which is like a non-magical being who's kind of treated like shit basically and um, she has to go and serve um, souls which are magical beings that can when they die if they're they can be chosen by the gods to become a god um, and so she goes to this place and she meets five brothers and they're really hot duh and they all have like special abilities but they're like the most powerful ones and they kind of rule the school that she's at type thing um and yeah so that's what she does and she goes there and then like it's kind of that she's like flirting with all of them 
nothing terribly exciting happened in the first book. I mean, that's not personal. You know, if you read it, it might be very exciting to you. Um, the plot's not too bad, actually, as well, which was good, because that was like a bonus. Obviously, I'm not really there for the plot, but it was a bonus. The first book in that series was called Trickery, and each one is named after the um, ability that each of the brothers have. And I thought, I don't think this is a spoiler because I can't tell for the, first, the next like four, but I thought that it would be like, because um, the first one's called Trickery, I thought it would kind of be a bit more focused on Syrup, who's the brother who had the trickery power, but it wasn't, like it, not as far as I could tell. So that, <laughs> it sounds like a really strange thing to be irritated by, but the organisation part in my brain, which admittedly is tiny, it's barely there, um, was like, but that would have been so nice, like it would have been so organised and neat. I could have read like trickery knowing that it's going to be about trickery, and then I could have read pain knowing that it's going to be about pain. Oh. But yeah, I wasn't disappointed or anything. Um, uh, yeah, I just, I just want some more filthiness, basically. Um, that's all I ask for, is that too much? Um, yeah, so I'm probably gonna pick up that. Um, but I've also got to do some, um, something I'm working on, which is exciting, but I kind of want to say anything about it yet. Uh, so I think I'm gonna work on that for a bit and rewatch um, American Horror Story Apocalypse. Yeah, because that, I love that series. And I love, I think Apocalypse Hotel and um, Coven are my favorite three. They're chef's kiss. I mean, to be fair, they're kind of the ones that have the most Sarah Paulson in, so can you tell my obsession? <laughs> uh, but yeah. Okay, so it's now Sunday or Valentine's Day. I hope you had a great Valentine's Day. And even if you're single or like you were alone because of lockdown and stuff, I hope you have the chance to like, you know, give yourself some self care and some like love. Um, yeah, so I just finished reading Orfea and it was so good. I was crying at the end. I think I wasn't like sobbing, sobbing, but I, I had a tear. Um, I think I would have cried more if it had been longer because it's only like 240 pages and there are a lot of um, drawings in this as well which are amazing because they really like add to the experience. I mean just look how beautiful they are. Um, but I think it meant that sometimes the story felt a little bit rushed because all those filler bits where you really get to know the characters and things and like really get a feel for the world, they weren't there obviously. But somehow it still felt like a solid, well-rounded story. And I think it would have been better in some ways if maybe one element had been removed. Because there were a lot of, like, there was kind of a journey aspect. And, well, that's, like, the main aspect of it. But it, like, there were a lot of tasks along the journey. And some kind of got, like, skimmed over. So there are some songs in it. Um, but, like, every now and then it kind of, like, so you would sometimes get the, like, snippets of songs. And that was really lovely, I loved that. But then there was a whole thing to do with songs and there weren't songs. Like you didn't get them at the one bit that I was like, oh, I'm so excited for that. And it just, it was a bit strange. But 
I really liked it. I think it would probably be a four star. And I'm gonna go and add loads more of Joanne Harris's books and um, probably stuff that's been illustrated by Bonnie Helen Hawkins as well because it's just, it's just so pretty. So now I think I'm going to go and watch a film or something. I might watch The King because Timothy Chalamet, he's gonna be my Valentine. Oh, Timothy Chalamet and Robert Pattinson. So I feel like that's just gonna be perfect. Um, or I might make, watch Papyuk, which is like a, a Russian show about um, a woman and her sugar daddy, which is really funny. Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna go do that. And then I might come back and start reading The Curse of the Gods because obviously I'm reading On Earth with Briefly Gorgeous, but it's so sad. And I feel like I don't want to be reading something sad on Valentine's Day. Um, so I think I'll read something like a bit smarty and romantic, but yeah, so. I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you later.